Hey, congratulations on Gutterbug here. So how exciting that Gutterbug is premiering here at the Dances with Film Festival, the yeah. West Coast premiere. Yeah, it was, it's, it's, it was awesome. We, we met uh, three or four weeks ago about coming out here, and it was a no-brainer. It's, it's a pleasure to be out here. It's a treat. You know, one of the things that, um, I, I don't know if you've been in Los Angeles before, but we have like the largest homeless population yeah. here in Los Angeles. And not only that, more than half of that population is millennials, young people who are, who are living on the streets with that exact type of culture. Yeah, yeah, I know that hearing you say that actually kind of gave me goosebumps a little. Um, we, when we started, when we started kind of going down the path and the journey to making this, um, we realized quickly that the story translated and, and, and was transferable to many different markets and you know identifying with the LA culture and kind of seeing when we were got the invite out here it was a no-brainer and, and that kind of that kind of cemented it for, for us in terms of the importance and and there were a lot of people that were kind of sharing that same story and and their experiences on uh, Wednesday which was very cool to be a part of Wow and what initially brought you onto a project like Gutterberg? Yeah, so I actually went to school with um, Andrew and Chris. We went to University of New Hampshire together. I went to high school with Chris for a while. Uh, we met in sophomore year or so. So we've been we've been friends for a while, the three of us. I lived with Andrew in Alston, which is when the idea kind of came to fruition. And um, I moved closer to downtown Boston and started or continued doing my sort of sales thing. And then we all sort of had a plan to reconvene a couple years later. And then the script sort of came across my email, he pitched it to me one night, and then next thing you know, we're here. So um, we always kind of dreamed of, of doing this, but um, they did a really good job of kind of putting it into reality and making it a making it an actual thing. And and now three years later, we're on the red carpet at, uh, at uh, Dance With Film. So it was a pretty cool ride. Hey, tell me about this town, Alston. I don't know if I would ever have a chance to visit, but uh, yeah. but I saw it in the movie. <laughs> sure, yeah. So it's... um. It's outside of Boston. It's probably about 15, 10 minutes from downtown. Um, it's a nice little, not not suburban, but it's where a lot of kids from BU go to school. But there's two sides. There's Lower Alston and then there's Upper Alston. And we lived on Lower Alston. And it's if you drive in on the Mass Pike, there's um, a Pizzeria Regina side. And there's a bridge that goes over it. And there's a synonymous scene where a couple of the scenes were shot with Tim and and uh, and, and our main character, Andrew. And, and uh, Gibber does this really cool shot of the time lapse over the Mass Pike. So on the right side is where all the kids from BU live, and uh, that's where all the bars are. And the left side is where we live in Lower Alston, and that's where, uh, where a lot of the um, the younger punk uh, people started moving in when we were living there, and we sort of saw the city transform. So um, it's right between Cambridge and um, Brookline, and it's a really cool, really cool town. And we lived there for four years. Andrew still lives there now, um, but it's a great town, up and coming, but. It really kind of cemented the the vision for the movie in our minds, at least, was kind of seeing the transformative, seeing the city transform in and of itself into sort of this young, up and coming crust punk style, and that's where Gibber actually films a lot of his uh, concerts right now too. Wow, absolutely. Yeah. And um, one of the things of trying to keep a low budget indie film going, yeah. um, could you talk about any challenges with that? Yeah, I think the challenges were were you know I was the I was the initial uh, financier, and then it was sort of. All right, so we got we got this going. Where do we go from here, and how do we how do we get more to make it happen? And I think once we once we once we crested over a certain point, it was okay. We got something we got something going here. So then it was how do we not um, how do we make sure we don't miss or or not capitalize on the moment, right? And I think that for me was 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 trying to get them to think about okay, instead of instead of doing baby steps, let's let's go for it and let's make sure we really execute. So I think right about you know four or five months in, seeing that seeing the the quality of what what was done, I was like, all right, we might we might have something here. So I think the challenge was more, how do we really blow this out of the water instead of kind of dipping our toes in and getting our feet wet? Like let's let's do a cannonball into the deep end and see what we can do with it. So I think that was that was that that in my mind at least was a big challenge for me. I know they have a lot of stuff behind the scenes, but I wanted to delegate as much as possible because I. I trusted in them to do a good job, and, and I think for me it was more. All right, now we have something. How do we how do we reel in the big one? So that that for me was was probably my biggest one. Excellent. And do you have upcoming projects yourself after uh, Gutterbug? Yeah. So we um, Gibber is always working on different um, you know music videos and stuff like that. But I think for the three of us, we've we've already written something um, that's in the works right now. The three of us. Um, it was actually something that, that Gibber and Chris and I worked on about two or three years ago, and we put on pause to film Gutterbug. Um, so 
we'll see where it goes from there. But uh, we have a we have a treatment made, and we're we're in the works of trying to 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 put a full script together and do round number two. Excellent. Hey, yeah. congratulations. Thank you very hey, much. Wonderful film. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. you.